what's going on you guys I'm as always Mr. Graham Phone 2 welcome everybody to my channel again and um, I'm still kind of sort of sticking with the Halloween theme a little bit because um, I I wanted to talk about this movie I wanted to talk about uh, the the lighthouse uh, now I'm gonna give you guys um, I'm gonna let you guys know when I give you guys spoilers in this movie um, because uh, Knight has not seen this movie yet. Yeah. And the good thing about me doing it this way is because, as you know, basically this is how the movie was portrayed in black and white. Um, but uh, I am going to give you guys my thoughts on the, uh, on the Lighthouse. Uh, the Lighthouse was directed by Robert Eggers. It was written by Robert Eggers and Max Eggers, uh, the brothers. And it stars Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. And um, if you guys do not know who Robert Eggers is, he was the guy that did... He was the uh, the director of The Witch. Uh, and me and Knight talked about The Witch during uh, Season 2 of Rip from the Super Screen. Um, I... And this particular, should I go, do you, do you think I should go to the plot, or what do you, what do you think, man? Well, whatever you want to do. Okay, because, um, because I kind of don't, I, 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 uh, I don't want to, I kind of don't want to give anything away. Um, okay. but, uh. Talk about it. Just talk about it. Yeah, well, talk about yeah, it. yeah, we'll talk about it. Um, yeah, so, anyway, this movie um it's basically about these two uh Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe these two guys are stuck in, at this lighthouse and this this movie happens during the 19th century in the late 19th century uh, and uh Robert Pattinson it plays this guy by the name of Ephraim Wils Winslow who he is sent to do a contract job, uh, working for this guy named by the name of Thomas, um, and these and what happens during the course of the film is that they start losing their mind, they start losing their head, um, things start, things start. I'll get into the plot when I go into spoilers, but. Uh, but things start to become weird, like really weird, um, and stuff like that. And these two start, you know, they start, they start spilling some dark shit towards one another. Um, there is a, um, some stuff that happens in this movie, uh, and that it, it, it's just weird. It like when you watch this movie, the way it is, the way these guys are portrayed, the way this this move this film is portrayed. I like the black and white aspect because it makes it feels like uh, it make it makes it feel like an older movie. Um, you know, one of those kind of movies from the '30s or the '50s or you know the '40s and stuff like that. Uh, it, it, these guys start going insane and start losing their mind. And I think during the course of, uh, like, they're spending four weeks. So, no die. Of course, you're going to go crazy with one another. But, uh, yeah. So... That's mostly, that's mostly really all I can say for right now, but, um, what I am going to do right now is, I'm going to do something i never done on rip, uh, Ripped, on, uh, Ripper Road Movie Reviews. I'm going to, um, go into the plot. Well, actually, I've, I have done it when we did, when we did our spoiler reviews, but, um, yeah, I'm going to just go into the plot, guys, um, Fair warning, there's going to be a lot of spoilers that I'm going to talk about. 
uh, in this movie. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go into spoilers right now. So if you guys have not seen, if you guys have not seen, uh, the lighthouse, uh, get off the, get off the video, um, get off the video, go get a ticket and go watch this movie. Um, but yeah, cause I'm about, I'm about to, I'm about to spill the whole fucking being on this shit. Um, on this movie. So, yeah, major spoilers are involved with this. So, all right, so here we go. This is the plot of <laughs> The Lighthouse. In the late 19th century, Ephraim Winslow, played by Robert Pattinson, is sent on a boat to serve a contract job as a wiki for four weeks on an isolated island off the coast of New England. Under the supervision of a, 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 a ir, ir, of an irritable elderly man named Thomas Wake, played by Willem Dafoe, on the first job on the first day of the job, Winslow notices a hole in his cot. As he digs into it, he finds a, a small scrimshaw of a mermaid, and stuffs it in his jacket. Winslow observes Wake going up to the lighthouse lantern room at night and stripping naked. Winslow begins experiencing visions and dreams of tentacles in the lighthouse. Tree stumps floating uh, in the water and distant images of a mermaid. Over the course of his stay, Wake demands Winslow all allocate to, uh, to the more taxing jobs. Refueling the light, carrying a heavy kerosene containers, and disposing of the two men's chamber pots. Oh, I have to tell y'all too that Willem Dafoe's character is a complete asshole in this movie towards uh, Pattinson's character. But you guys are probably going to figure that out. <laughs> um, as the weeks progress, Winslow repeatedly encounters a one-eyed seagull. Wick warns Winslow that it is bad luck to kill a seagull as he is superstitious. But the animals are reincarnated, reincarnated sailors. And the weeks continue. And Winslow frequently masturbates to the figurine of the mermaid. And continues to see Wake naked. One night at dinner, the two discusses, uh, discuss Wake's previous second wiki. Who Wake says died shortly after losing his sanity. Winslow reveals that he used to work in a, in a in Canada as a timberman, but decided to change professions. The day before Winslow is slated to leave, he notices the water pump is releasing bloody water and investigates. He opens the cistern to see a dead seagull floating inside. The one-eyed seagull flies down and attacks Winslow, who grabs it and beats it to death after uh, against the cistern. Damn. That afternoon, the wind dramatically changed direction. That night, a storm hits the island and the two men get drunk. The next morning, the ferry does not arrive and Winslow sees a body washed up on the shore. Winslow approaches the naked body and realizes that it is a mermaid, played by Valeria, Valerie Car uh, Carmen. He runs back into the cottage to find Wake, stating that the rations were impacted by the storm. They dig up a crate set, said to contain extra rations, but it only contains more alcohol. Great. Beautiful. Right. More nights progress and the storm continues and the two men grow closer while remaining an ad adversarial. Winslow unsuccessfully tries to steal the key to the lantern room from a, waking, from a sleeping wake. He also has visions of a lobster trap containing the severed, half-blinded uh, blinded head of Wake's previous wiki. One night, Winslow tells Wake that his real name is Thomas Howard, and that he assumed the identity of Ephraim Winslow, a timberman who died in an accident How Howard failed to stop. Wake accuses Howard of spilling his beans, and Howard tries to leave. He attempts to escape on a lifeboat, but Wake destroys it with an axe. Wake chases Howard into the cottage. Um. Uh, okay. 
But inside, Wade claims that it was Howard who attacked him. With no alcohol left, the two begin mixing spirits out of kerosene and the storm becomes so powerful that waves crash through the windows of the cottage. The next morning, Howard finds Wake's log, recording his infractions and recommending severance without pay. Wake chides uh, Howard for his work performance until Howard attacks him. While seeing visions of the mermaid, Wake as a sea monster and the real Winslow, Howard beats Wake into submission. Howard ties Wake in a rope leash and buries him alive in the ration, in the ration pit. Howard takes the keys and prepares to go up the lantern room, but Wake appears, hits him in the shoulder with an axe. Howard disarms and kills Wake before ascending the lighthouse. He approaches the Fresno uh, lens and it stops and opens to him. Howard gazes into the mirrored interior in ecstasy as and lets out a distorted scream as the light brightens. Before falling down the lighthouse steps, Howard is then seen lying naked on the rocks, missing an eye as several seagulls peck at his, peck at his innards. Oh God! Thus ending <laughs> this creepy, 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 creepy ass fucking movie. Um. Yeah, I had to. I had to tell y'all guys the plot. I apologize, uh, but I I did warn y'all guys that there was gonna be spoilers in this. Um. So basically, yeah, that's what happens in the movie. Yeah. These two guys. It it, it it what's so funny is, is that Robert Pattinson's character he tells him. He tells he finally tells the truth that he is not who he seems. And, you know, the as as the weeks progress. You can tell these two are losing their fucking minds. You can tell that they're losing their very souls. And something is wrong. Something is fucked up. And stuff like that. But but what did you think? What did you think of The Lighthouse, man? Well, I, know you I, haven't seen it, yeah, I can imagine how creepy it, it looks. Um, and of course, I, I know... Uh, Good actors. They're wonderful. I know where he's from. I've seen him in other films. He was the villain in Once Upon a Time Mexico. He was also the Green Goblin, the first Sam Raimi uh, Spider-Man. Um, Which I don't know uh, why people have a problem with. <laughs> I don't know why he made a good villain. He made a good villain. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I I don't know if I ever, would ever watch this one. After reading the plot, I don't know. I mean. But you can just imagine being in a lighthouse. You're you're just in the lighthouse. You're watching the lighthouse. So you know you make it to the lighthouse. It's up and running, and you're you're basically surrounded by water and nowhere else to go. Yeah. I mean, really, you can't go get food or somewhere. You can't, you know. And then yeah, those you have to clean out the things you use for toilets. That's a nasty job, but that'd be done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why you're just on a. a uh, watching the lighthouse, and of course you could go crazy being there for days, long days at a time. And my gosh, talk about weird, talk about strange, talk about yeah. Not to mention the fact that uh, these two. Oh, sorry, man. Go ahead. Um, sorry. Go ahead, man. I was uh, gonna say something real quick. Yeah, talk about one of the weirdest, weirdest, weirdest horror films ever. Yeah. Um. Not to mention the fact that these two every day. But they're there at that lighthouse. They're at each other's throats. They want to kill yep. each other. At oh, the yeah. end, things start going from bad to worse. Mm -hmm. When you start seeing, when you start seeing what happens with these two characters, uh, the only person that I think that I could say that I felt sorry for was Robert Pattinson's character, because yeah. he was the one getting the getting getting bullied. By the by, Willem Dafoe. He was the one getting bullied and getting but uh, getting uh, mistreated yeah. by Willem Dafoe in the movie, and you can see that he wants to kill him so much, and you that you can't blame him for that at all. But I gotta give this movie 
if, if anything, I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. Because I, I, I think The Lighthouse... The Lighthouse was really good. Uh, it's one of those indie horror movies uh, that... If you guys don't know who A... If you guys don't know... Uh, 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 just, just one moment, guys. Hold on. Just one moment. Um... Sorry guys, uh, it's my mom and my niece. But anyway, um, I got stuff. Okay. Um, the Lighthouse is one of those horror movies that um, is very interesting when you realize what's going on between these two dudes. Um, and as we were talking about before, as, as I was going through the plot and I was, as we were talking about before me, me and Knight were talking about before these two guys are there for four weeks yep. and you start to get tired of each other Oh yeah. after four weeks, you start to hate being with the same person for four weeks. Especially Robert Pattinson's character in this movie. Um, uh, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I give this movie 10 out of 10. And um, I would say I would say that I recommend this, completely recommend this movie. To anybody looking for a good scare, for, to anybody looking for uh, a really, really good independent film. And Robert Eggers, who is the director of this film, he, he, I, th I think the black and white aspect was really, really good on his part. Um, and I think that this movie was very, very interesting and very... This this movie, the story that it tells, how Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson, uh, how they how they are act, they're acting their asses off in this movie, and um, and I think I I think this movie deserves a lot of credit. But okay. what do you think, man? Yeah, I, I believe it does too. I, I believe it does deserve a lot of credit. Um, yeah, and if you're looking for a, a good movie to watch or a good horror film to watch, there you go. I think The Hot House would be, would be perfect. Um, I mean, wow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, we recommend it. So, uh, if you haven't seen it, watch it. See for yourselves. Search for yourselves how crazy this movie could be. And after reading the plot, I can tell. Yeah. I go crazy too for being in a lighthouse for four weeks. I mean, come on. Yeah. But anyway, let us know in the comment section down below what you're going to start of The Lighthouse. Um... Coming up next, I'm gonna give you guys one more react, one more review for tonight, and I'm gonna call it quits. Uh, it's gonna be my review for Terminator Dark Fate. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are probably gonna see the thumbnail uh, as to why I'm pissed about Dark Fate. Uh, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that uh, when we get. We'll get to that when we get to it. So. Yeah, I am as always Mr. Grandfather too, and I'll see you all in the afterlife. Peace.